Hello, welcome back. In this part, we're going to talk about JavaScript, if, else, and ternary operator. You know that we have Boolean values that we can work with them. And the main reason that we have our Boolean value is that we can use our code to run on different conditions. So let's say we have our condition one, which is true right here. And we want to console log that our condition one is true. You can see that if we run, we got this printing, but we want to, if our condition one is false instead of true, if we run, we don't get this result. So what we can do is that we can use our if statement. And to do that, we type if right here. Then inside of these parentheses, we use our rule. So we use if condition one is equal to true. Then we put these right here that we want to code if our condition is right to be executed right here. So we want this code to run if our condition one is true. Now, if we make our condition one true and run our code, actually I have misspelled that true right here. And now if we run our code, you can see that we got the printing of our condition one is true. But if we make this false and run our code again, you can see we don't have any code running here. And for checking your condition, if your condition and your variable is boolean value itself, you don't need this comparison right here. You can use simply this condition one and you give the boolean value to our variable right here. Now if we run, you can see again, we are going to have the same result going on. And let's say we have our condition two, which is false here. And we want to check if both of condition one and condition two are true. That, you know, we can use this and operator right here. And now because one of them is true and the other one is false. And here we use our conditions are true. And if we run, you can see that we don't have anything. But if we make this one too true and run our code, you can see that we got the result of our conditions are true. But let's say after this, we want to print if they are not true to our code. So here we use our condition are not true. And now if we make one of our conditions to false and run our code, you can see that it says our conditions are not true. But pay attention that if we have this true again right here and run our code, we are going to have both of this console log and this console log going on. And that's because it's going to check this condition and if it's true, run this code. And if it's not true, it's going to pass this block and start running from here. But another thing that we can use that if this is not true to run is that we can use another if statement right here that here we say if our condition one and our condition two are not true. And we do that by this operator and falls right here. And here if we put our block right here and run our code, you can see that if both of them are true, we got this result. And if one of them are false, we're going to have this second result going on. And another way of doing the same thing instead of this much of code is that we can use our else keyword right here. And by this, it's going to check if this is true, it's going to run this block. And if this is not true, it's going to run this second block. And now if we run, you can see that we got our conditions are not true. But if we make this one true again and run our code, you can see that we got the first printing of our conditions are true. But here, let's say we want to check if our condition one and our condition two separately and print the result right here. So what we can do is that we can use another if statement after of this else. So here we say if 
both of these are true, we're going to have this. And because this is only going to give us the true value when this and this are true. So because of that, we don't need this comparison to true because this is only true in one condition. And after this, we use another if right here that here we're going to put our second condition right here, which is let's say if both of our condition one and our condition two are false. So we can use both of this to make false or we can put only this exclamation mark before of our variable and boolean value. So I use second method right here and put right here. So this block is going to be executed whenever the result of this is true. And the result of this part is only true when this is true and this is true. And because we put this not before of each of our variables, so the result is going to be only true when both of this and this one is going to be false. And now if we run, you can see because both of them are true, we're going to have our conditions are true. And if we have one of them to be false and run our code, we didn't have any other printing right here because this is only going to be print and run only when both of them are false. But if we make this one false too, and if we run, you can see that we got our conditions are not true. And you can use multiple of this else if after each other. So let's say after this, we want another else and we say if our condition one is true and our condition two is false. So we put our exclamation mark right here and inside of our block code, we're going to declare and print that because only our condition one is true, we're going to write our condition one is true and we're going to have the same thing for our second condition so we use else right here and then we put our f inside of our parentheses we set our condition which in this case we want if our condition one is not true and our condition two is true and in this case we want to console log our condition two is true and now if we have both of them in the false and run our code, you can see that we got the result of our conditions are not true. If we have our condition one only true and run, you can see that we got the result of our condition one is true. And if we have the opposite of that, which is our condition one is false and our condition two is true and run our code, you can see that we got the result of our condition two is true because in this case, this code is going to be run. And then at the last, if we have both of them to be true and run our code, you can see that we got the result of our conditions are true. And of course, you can have any other kind of comparison right here. So let's say instead of these, we have variable of A, which is 5, and then our variable of B, which is 10. So here we can use if and inside of our condition, we can use that here. If, for example, B is larger than A, we want our code to run, which is console log A is greater than B. And now if we run, you can see that we got this result. But if we have this condition to not working and run again, you can see that we don't have any other printing right here. And here again, you can use your else and put another code to run if it is not true. So here we say a larger than b is not true. And you can see if we run this time, we got this comparison is not true. So let's make this 10. And pay attention that if you have only one line of code after your if statement, you can remove these curly braces right here. And if you run this, you can see again, you get your result. And if you don't have this and run your code, you can see this time you don't get your result. But if you have two line of code just like this and run your code, 
you can see this is not going to be applied based of this condition and if you pay attention that you see this line is going to be for this if and this line is going to render separately and if you want to have your else in this case if you use anything for example console.log test words right here if a is larger than b and you run you can see that it's going to be work but pay attention that it's going to work only if there is one line and one statement for both of this if and this else and of course you can have your else if right here check for example here if b is larger than a so if we run you can see here we got test if we use this and run we got this result and if both of them are equal if we run we don't have any printing right here so let's say here we have another variable of c right here which is going to be our result and empty string right here so we want to check if our a is larger than b we want to set our c to a is larger than b but if b is larger than a we want to have our c variable to contain b is larger than a and at the last we have another else and here we want to have if a is equal to b we want our c variable to say that a and b are the same and after all of these we want to console log our c variable to our console so if we run this because both of these are equal we got that a and b are same if we make our a to be larger and run our code you see that we have our a is larger than b and if we make opposite of that which is b is larger and run our code we got that b is larger than a but another way of doing this is that we can use our ternary operator which let's say here we want to check only this part and if a is larger than b we want to set c to a is larger than b and if that is not true we want our c to have a is not larger than so for using this here we're going to have our condition right here and after this we're going to have question mark and after this question mark we are going to have our first value which is going to be run if our condition is true and then we have this double columns and after this we have this one which is going to be run if our condition is false so if we want to write this code in ternary mode and syntax here we need to put our condition which is b is less than a and here in true we don't need to declare this c again because we are declaring and putting c this value so this is our value one which is going to be run in the true and this is our value two which is going to be run only when this is false and c is going to be value one if this is true and it's going to be value two if this is false so we put simply this string right here in value one and then we put this string into our second value and now if i remove this one and run my code you can see that here we got the result of a is not larger than b and that's because this has checked this condition and saw this is not true so because of this it's going to set our c variable to this value and this value is going to be inside of our c and when we printing that this is going to be print but if we have the opposite of this and our a is actually larger than b and run our code you can see that we got the result of a is larger than b and of course you know that this is because our condition is true in this case and this value is going to be inside of our c variable and then printing and pay attention that you can use other ternary operation inside of this one too so let's say if this is not true 
Again, in this part, we want to check for another condition, which if A is larger than 50. And in this case, again, we need another question mark because this itself is another ternary operator. And here we need to give the value of A is larger than 50 right here. And if it's not true, we're going to put value of A is less than 50. Actually, let's make this B so we can work with this code and not change more things. And here you can see if A is 50 and B is 5. And if we run the code, you can see that A is larger than B. But if we have our B to be, let's say, 45 and run our code, we got this result. And that's because here we got false value. And because of this, we are going to run this. And here again, it's going to check this. And because this is not true, again, it's going to look for this false and put this value inside of our C variable. But if we have, for example, 55 here instead of 45 and run our code, you can see that this time we got this result and that's because in the first place, this is false. We come to the this section and here this is true. And because of this, this is going to be wrong. And of course, you can have the same thing going on in your first part of your code, which here, let's say we want to make and check A here. And here, if B is 5 and our A is 55 and run our code, we got our A to be larger than 50 because this is true. We're going to check this part and here A is larger than 50. And because of this, this is going to be printing. But if this is 45 and again, we run our code, we got this result, which is this. And because this is false and this is false again, which here we're going to have this one going to our variable C and pay attention that this double columns is for this question mark and this question marks double columns is this one as same as these two pairs please give a like and subscribe to catch next videos